Zero force members seem to be a point that many students have difficulty seeing. A couple of things to keep in mind are, they could be removed and not cause a structural instability, and that they can be found by logical deduction. The easiest way to determine zero force members is to look at both ends of the rod. You don't have to do any calculations, just logic tests in your mind will do. Let's look at points F, E, C, and I. At point F, you can define an axis for X and Y like this. Now if you imagine summing forces in the X direction, you'll notice that you'll have bar F, E, and F, G that will cancel each other out. But if you try to sum forces in the Y direction, you'll notice that bar C, F doesn't have anything to cancel it out in that direction. Since the sum of the forces in the x and in the y direction have to equal zero, then CF must equal zero. Therefore, we know that FE and FG are equal to each other. Now, when we look at corner E, we can do the same logic deduction. We would have co components of CE in the y direction and in the x direction, but since there is nothing else in the y direction to cancel it out, CE must equal zero. Now let's look at point C. When you sum forces in the y direction, you'd get that members CG, CF, and CE are all in that direction. But since we've already learned that CF and CE are zero, we know that CG also has to be zero because there's nothing else to cancel it out in the y direction. Finally, let's look at point I. It's the same thing as point E, and I'll just tell you that BI will be zero. If you were to look at any other point, you would notice that there are forces there that are acting on them. And because there are forces, there is no way to logically assume that they are going to be a zero force member.